Good morning YouTube and welcome to another video. You join me is episode number 12 of my figure 2020 prepping series um, and today you join me for another day in the life. We are 12 weeks on Sunday out from my first ever bodybuilding competition and oh my god I'm so excited. I have just done another week of ticking boxes nothing much to report to be honest um to, this morning is friday i have just sent off my check-ins to callum which i will leave here um i have been fluctuating around the sort of 66.7 66.4 kilo kind of mark this week uh no changes from callum last week so this week my calories have all just stayed the same and i've still been dropping weight which is awesome um like he mentioned to me there's just no point in dropping calories until we're not really seeing the drop and the progress that we want so yeah i'm super happy with those um today is friday yesterday was a tough day i'm not gonna lie i every single week i have like a day i seem to have like one day every week where i'm like oh wow i actually feel like I'm struggling today not with motivation not like with food particularly I just feel a bit hungry I feel a bit like deflated a bit meh like everything seems so hard to complete like yesterday was one of those days I got up at like half five I had a couple of clients did my cardio and then I came home and I literally sat with my eyes closed ate my food and then took a two hour nap and just the whole of yesterday I just felt so like no energy I literally had no energy and yeah i struggled yesterday that was probably like my hardest day on prep so far not that it was tough because i know it's only going to get so much worse but um currently yeah that was the toughest day yesterday but it's okay we got through it today is a new day it's actually a rest day today i am going to insert a leg day which i did two days ago oh yes it's an exciting leg day and i'm going to run a commentary over it for this week's video so yeah sit back relax enjoy this week's vlog um please give the video a like if you haven't already and if you haven't subscribed please do i know sometimes that means making a account to subscribe to me but it does make a huge difference and i really appreciate your support i'm just gonna sit catch up on some work catch up on some emails um and then i'm gonna head over and practice some posing been doing a nice like half an hour 40 minute session on every rest day and it's really benefiting me i enjoyed my session so much with emma last time um so i've just been working on the little bits and bobs and the changes that she has suggested hiya hiya you all right is it george yeah thank you thank you Oh my god, guys. <laughs> Fuck, I can't believe that this has come this morning. Um, so basically, oh my god, <laughs> I can't believe these have come today. Um, I touched upon it on my last vlog that I was doing like a secret project that wasn't fit by rule. Um, and I've waited for these samples for like five six weeks maybe even longer and they've come from a different country and they are finally here and i'm gonna unwrap them on the vlog oh my god i can't believe they're here fuck oh my god it's so like anticipated i don't even know if that's the word but I'm not gonna show you guys just because I wanna keep it a secret still because I don't know whether they're perfect. Like, this is basically just a sample. These might not even be the real thing, but here we go. Oh, they put a bag inside a bag. Don't do this to me. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. They look, they look perfect. They look, 
Oh my god, I don't want to give too much away. I feel like I've given away so much just by showing that on here, but obviously not showing you the actual thing, but fucking hell, they've come and they look very good. I am going to try this out, try the thing that I've been working on out for a week or so, just to make sure that I'm, I'm genuinely happy with it and it's something that I want to sell. But fucking hell, guys. How exciting! Come on, boy, boy, can you get it up? Come on. Before I get copyrighted. Ah, uh, we're at the gym. We're at Pure Gym. I'm gonna. I am on such a level right now. I am just so excited about this year. I just have a feeling it's gonna be a very good year, and I'm very excited. Um yeah let's go in let's get some posing done yes i did my check-ins this morning which means i've already like stripped down and got <laughs> like had my heels on and posed but i just like coming to this gym and taking half an hour to pose because it sets in my mind that's what we do on a rest day um and every single time i write in my notes like something i want to work on on each session so yeah i can't be saying that i didn't practice my posing because i fucking practiced my posing for like four hours a week in like proper actual heels posing not just a quick in the mirror you know what i'm saying that didn't exactly go to plan got there went for a wee come back downstairs to go in the studio and they're running a class and they're running another class afterwards the one time i don't check they never normally run classes in the day that's really annoying so now i'm going to drive home and i guess just come back later fuck knows i don't know that's really annoying i'm not gonna lie but it's fine breathe g you have lots of work to be doing so i'm gonna go home i'm gonna work and then i'm gonna come back later tonight come home to a fucking skinny foods order this is like my top up oh my god i've got so many banoffee pies banoffee pie cookies and cream new haven't tried it yet um another banoffee pie rhubarb and custard because the custard is so good by itself so i got two more custards um i got a oh yeah caesar um more banoffee pie smoky barbecue gonna give that a go and what's the last one? Oh my god yes red velvet cake thank you skinny food <laughs> gang 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 update <sighs> it is later on i've just finished at work just pt a client um and i'm so tired now I'm not gonna lie energy levels hello again <laughs> um had another meal since we last spoke um and now i'm gonna go back to pure gym and try and pose. Well, I'm going to pose because there's no glasses now. Lesson learnt today.
home from posing. I have eaten um, my next meal. My God, I was so hungry. I literally have never got home and cooked and eaten my food so quickly. Had a bagel fin, the protein one, with some chicken and some salad and the Skinny Foods smoky barbecue sauce, which is actually really nice. I obviously love the honey barbecue, but yeah, the smoky barbecue was better. I'm gonna say that, it was it was a lot better. I'm gonna say that, they just went American, what, what the fuck was that? Um, anyway, just did some more catch up on emails and clients and bits and bobs, and I have 2,500 steps to do. So I'm debating whether, I feel like I should walk outside, but then it is very cold and it's dark. And can I really be asked? So I think I might just drive to the gym, which will be my fifth, visit to a gym today and haven't even weight trained um to go and do my cardio not my cardio to go and do my steps to finish the day off and then all boxes are ticked to come home have my last meal and then go sleep because tomorrow is saturday um and i have so much work to do tomorrow because basically on sunday which is again normally a really busy day for work for me i'm actually going up to birmingham again um for the pca seminar um on posing so not to see emma but to pca running this free seminar um which i said oh yeah i'll go to and then realized that it was two weeks after i'd already booked a session with emma so i'm going back up to birmingham but you know you gotta do what you gotta do it's all right i drive a sports car it's fine um so yeah i'm gonna go and get my steps in feeling a little bit tired um also I'm gonna drop in my, I tell you what, that's what we're gonna do guys. I'm gonna drop in my leg session from the other day into the video now. So I'm gonna do my steps. You enjoy last week's, no, this week's leg day and I'll catch you afterwards. Welcome back to another voiceover. This week's session was a quad focus session. And before we even start, let me just tell you that this session wrote me off, like absolutely killed me. The next day, wow, I was dead. I was actually dead. And I think that was because of this hack squat. So did adductors to warm up. Um, and then my moving, my movement of choice of kind of progression for this session was progression for this session, poet Emma didn't know it, was the hack squat. Um, banded, I have been wanting to and working up to four plates per side on this movement, which is 160 kilos. So what I did in this session was three feeler sets. So these are not really counted. They're just, I'm allowed as many as I want. So what I did was 40, 80 and 120. Um, and just kind of did like six to eight reps on each of those just to get a feel for the weight and for the movement. Um, and now you are watching my first working set, which was my 160. It was my four plates per side, baby. Um, and I went for eight reps on here. I'm super pleased. I'm super, super happy with this. Um, it's probably a good thing the sound isn't on because I am that person now that makes noise when they rep. I'm really sorry. I used to hate it, but now I just can't really help it. Like I just like a little plea comes out towards the end of my rep sometimes. So four plates per side. Some boys can't even rep that. Um, on banded hack squat for eight reps. Super pleased. Um, I'm watching this back, I'm really happy with my depth. I'm really happy with my tempo, um, execution, etc., etc. But yeah, Jesus Christ, these did actually absolutely write me off. Um, but they were good. So we did 160 for eight, and then what we did was bang the weight off. So I went back to 140. Um, <laughs> dying uh back to 140 and then i did 12 reps on 140 which again is progression for me uh last session i think i only got 10 on 140 so yeah buzzing um that's sped up really happy with these the reason that we put the band in is just for a little bit less pressure on the knees especially down towards the bottom of the rep so as the band stretches towards the bottom it's just going to aid you and it's just going to help you up towards the on your concentric so on your way up it's just going to help ease you back up to the top so yeah Hack squat, first movement, very happy, very pleased. Um, five plates per side one day, <laughs> who knows? Um, and then we moved on, leg press was the next movement. So I had two sets on here. First set was 12 reps, 
which we did 140 kilograms for um this is like the smaller leg press in my gym we have like a watson one now watson's one now which is awesome um but it's so heavy by itself i, I like this one to be honest I actually enjoy using them for this one this time. Um, so yeah, 12 reps at 140. And then my next set, thank you Callum, by the way, for this, was 20. 20 reps. So I whacked it down to 100 and did 20 on that. Um, but yeah, super happy. Super happy. Love a leg press. A lot of people will leg press. Just making sure on this that I am getting as much depth as I can without my ass coming up off of the seat not ideal um like you see a lot of people when they come that low that their bum comes off the seat i'm trying to avoid that as much as i can but i'm also not half repping it like a little cheater so yes leg press done then we move on our next exercise is the leg extension so i actually only have one set for this which i know sounds crazy but it's basically a rest pause set so the aim is that we do the same weight so i choose the same pin for the whole time um and we just work our way down with reps so my first rep was 15 so 15 reps on the leg extension then i break for like 10 to 12 seconds and then go back in for eight reps and then pause again and then go back in for five reps and then pause again and go back in for three reps. I know you've just seen me change the weight there, but that was because I did like a feeler set. So whacked it in, did like 10, and then these are my working sets now. So 15 reps, pause, eight reps, pause, five reps, pause, three reps, and die. <laughs> um, but yeah, super happy with these again. I actually love training quads and when I saw my first ever program from Callum and saw that one of my sessions was literally basically just straight up quads I was like Han have you seen my quads um sometimes I actually shy away from training quads just because mine are so big um but to be honest I do really enjoy it and I really enjoy the style of training so yeah quad day why the fuck not as if i couldn't get bigger quads um okay cool so then we just died on that basically this is actually really hard like it's only one set but it actually kills me off um this was on pin 90 so yeah i've progressed in this again so even though it's a machine guys you can still progress it then we move on next exercise at this point i'm just like kill me now i actually can't do this anymore two set on split squats dumbbell split squats so i use my wraps uh for this exercise just to keep hold of the dumbbell so that they don't slip out of my hand um 22.5 kilograms in each hand for the first set uh got 12 reps on each foot i believe on here um you can see the little wedge underneath my foot right now um and that is purely just to make this a little bit more quad focused so the fact that i haven't got my heel on the ground um it basically just puts more pressure into the it makes you engage your quads more um than a regular split squat i know sometimes you see when people say oh if you do a split squat and have your foot all the way out you're going to use a little bit more glutes and if you bring your foot in then you're going to use a little bit more quad true and if you add this wedge which by the way i got on ebay just type in yoga wedge or amazon yoga wedge um you will use even more quad 22.5 and then we changed to 27.5 in each hand which i'm not even going to do quick maths quite a bit of weight um in fact shall i 52 no 55 kilograms um and i think i did eight reps on there so yeah really happy with these by this time in the session i'm absolutely fucked i just can't be doing it anymore so have a little fit at the end of my session um i actually did also do some delts but i didn't include it on here so basically just did raises side raises um a little bit of posing practice because you can never practice too much right now posing every single day so i just did a little bit of transition practice at the end of my session and yeah that was pretty much it not very many movements i know you might be thinking oh you only did like four movements on legs yes i did but it absolutely killed me um really successful session really happy with my hack squat four plates per side i'm just gonna keep rinsing that because i'm so proud um and that was pretty much it and i think this is where i'm gonna wrap the video up 
I hope you enjoyed. Um, we are now 12 weeks out from PCA Southwest. I uh, have had my check-ins back from Callum since the beginning of this vlog <laughs> um, and we have made some slight adjustments to our calories so both training and rest day calories are a little bit lower nothing crazy my weight is still progressing really nicely um, so there's just no need to drop calories too low but that's been the adjustment for this week still no change on the cardio still just my half an hour in the morning um and yeah that's pretty much it everything is going really well thank you very much for watching uh, i hope you enjoyed as always thank you for all the support on my weekly uploads it does mean the world please subscribe if you haven't already next week i'm thinking about doing a sit down chat about how much competing has cost me so much so far because i know i did a video back at the beginning of these, this series where i kind of chatted through how much i think competing was going to cost me um and a lot of people have asked for like a comparison so if you want to see that next week leave me a little comment leave me a little like um and i will see you next week 12 weeks out thank you very much for watching i will see you next week goodbye